Praise God. Well, good morning. We trust that you're you're going to have a blessed day. Today. Amen. Amen. You're going That's to have a right. good day. Today is the day the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Well, today we're going to be talking about, today and tomorrow both, we're going to be talking about God's mercy. Amen. And recalling how merciful God has been in and is, life. has been and is and, and will, will be, be in, in our lives. Praise Amen. God. And yeah. Lamentations 3, 21 through 23 says, Yet I still dare to hope when I remember this, the faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies are fresh every morning. Amen. I love this. Says, his mercies are new every day. Amen. Every day. Every I don't know about you, but sometimes I think that I use it all up in one day. Praise you God, know, he does. But, but every day we get a new part there. Amen. Well, God is merciful and God is compassionate. I think uh, last week we were talking about uh, the faithfulness of God and the faithfulness of God is not dependent on us. God is faithful. That's who he is. That's what he does. And he's, he, mercy is a part of that, Marcia. You know, we talked about that thing that, uh, that uh, God forgives us of our sin. And I quoted that scripture in Romans 5, 8. It says, while we're yet sinners, God commended his love toward us. Now think about that. We, want to, we love people who do right. Or you straighten up and I'm going to love you, you know. But God says, I love you even before you do that. Amen. You know, that's why the word of God tells us that we are drawn to God by his love. Mm -hmm. it, it is not his rules and it is not all the other trappings. It's the love of God that somebody would love us so much that when we stink, when we're bad, when we're the worst of the worst, God still loves us. So wow, man. That is a that's a that's an awesome thought. It is the love of God that draws you in and draws everyone else into the kingdom of God. Amen. Mm. You know, and some of his benefits that we need to recall and remember, number one, he forgives of our, us of our sins. Yeah. And we go, Oh, I know that. No, he forgives us of our sins. Not only forgives us of our sin. But forgives us of our sins Too after right. we begin become born again. The sin is the rejection of Jesus That's Christ. Right. He forgives us when we accept Jesus. Okay, but we know First John one nine that he, and just. yeah, because First John one nine is not written to sinners; it's written to the the Christians. And if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and to what? Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Amen. And so even the Lamentations uh, was written in the Old Testament. It's still the benefits are the same for the new believer. I mean, for the New Testament. Would you agree that? I mean. Oh, absolutely. Have, absolutely. Yeah. So he heals all of our diseases, not some of them. All our diseases. That's the next second mercy. Yeah, you know, on Wednesday we've been talking about, well, I used a word called atonement. And what sometimes we don't understand is that the the uh, the uh, Jews, when they would, the priests would perform the rituals, they would take the blood of the animal and they would bring it into the Holy of Holies. And they would sprinkle it upon the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, and what that blood had the effect of was covering over their sins, Okay. It wasn't until until coming into Jesus that Jesus died. His sin, I mean, his blood Covered didn't the cover the sin. His blood took the sin away. That's because good. see, under atonement, every year they had and to come back. Every it. year, under Jesus, we don't come back every That's year right. and get saved goodness, again. Even though when we yes. were young in the Lord, we thought we had to go to the altar every time yeah, we messed absolutely. up. Absolutely, right? And, but that wasn't. That was to get forgiveness, but we didn't understand that. We thought we almost felt like we had to get born again. Yes, Everybody. no, absolutely. But much what you just said was about our diseases. Think about this: in the atonement is not only the forgiveness That's of right. sins, but it's the healing of the our healing diseases. Of our yes, amen. amen. And so, under that same covering, there in the Old Testament, is same over here. Amen. amen. And then number three, He redeemed your life from destruction. That gives us life oh, and yes. life. Amen. You know, John. 
Ten ten says, I've come that you may have life and life more abundant. God can Amen. take that which is broken and make it brand new. Amen. And number four, he crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. You are a blessed person. I'm a blessed person yes. Amen. because of the Lord Jesus Christ and what he's done. Amen. In yeah, I, I think sometimes we don't remind ourselves enough. We need to remember doing. every mercies. day you need yes. to remind yourself of the mercies of God. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to pick up again tomorrow on that. God bless you. We love you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.